ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're having a little look at Infection Free Zone. This consistently ranks as maybe my most anticipated upcoming management style base builder kind of game uh, is definitely up there. The reason being is that it's a flipping it's a flipping zombie defense game uh, where you can play on any city in the world. Now, uh, this is the latest build as far as I am able to tell. This isn't actually the prologue version. This is the this is the real deal. Uh, let's see if we can try and zoom into somewhere. Uh, maybe in Eindhoven? Sure. Why the heck? Why the heck not? So yeah, one of the, the characteristics about this game is that you can actually play on quite legitimately any any part of the world, which is just honestly amazing. Um, I'm going to pick somewhere that is like nice and nice and middle of the road. Yeah, let's maybe do something like here. Uh, Veldhoven. Sure, let's do it. Uh, this used to be a highly densely populated area. It might be very high. Are you sure you want to continue? Maybe not. Maybe let's go for a slightly less populated area then. Still, like, in the same vicinity. There we go. Let's try that. Too few buildings. Please select another area. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a cheat. Uh, too few buildings. I mean, how how hard can this how hard can this area be? Sure, let's do it. Okay, there we go. Uh, zone name, infection-free zone. Starting month, April, that's fine. Difficulty, horde number, resources. This is all brand new, apparently. We start with 50 people, one resource, horde numbers. That's fine. There's also a brand new, uh, yeah, brand new brand new spawn system, um, I believe, as well as also a barbed wire rework since the last time that I checked out this game. Yeah, never heard of uh, Infection-Free Zone. This is, this is a zombie defense game where you have to build a base, defend against zombies, and uh, try and not die and get infected. It's really, really good. Um, it's really, really good. And... It's really cool to be able to play on your hometown or your home city or just around cities that you know and, you know, you have a special affinity with. But either way, it's downloading at the moment. Let's get let's get up and running. Um, whilst I'm saying this, I'm thinking you can check out the prologue. It is available right now. Uh, at the moment, it is completely free. Uh, we're going to skip through this. Uh, it is completely free, so you can do so. Uh, you can do so right now. Okay, what am I going to do? Select a building for your base of operations. I mean, this spaceship looking thing looks pretty flippin' cool, to be honest. In fact, there's a lot of like, what the heck is that? These are these are some funky buildings. Now, um, there is some real strategy in choosing, I tell you what, it's got to be this one. This has got to be our headquarters. I would love this area to be our headquarters. There's some real strategy in picking a really, really decent headquarters. We are going to be doing... We're going to be doing a lot of operations around these parts. So we need to make sure that we pick something that is in proximity to a lot of other buildings. We also want to make sure that there's proximity to green space. Green space is very, very important. And, you know, the ability to sort of, like, look around... The map is pretty darn cool. Turn on scavenge view, uh, select a squad, and start exploring. Yeah, so we can basically give our squads commands, and I think we're probably going to set... Probably going to set them to search through all of these buildings just as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, we are also probably going to maybe create a brand new squad uh, from the people that we have. There we go. Go here, 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 here. Here, here. We're going to do a lot of scavenging. You're going to go back there for some absolutely obscene reason. Oh, because you filled up with, uh, you filled up with food. That's great. And you're going to press on. Excellent. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, I have played this game before. I am going to do my very best to explain as we go sort of some of the major uh, mechanics, the, the transformations. Uh, what I would also like to do, select OK there. I would like to set up some uh, some orders for my troops. Let's maybe say gather some woods. Yeah, let's go and adapt the buildings. Yeah, we will do that. Adapt buildings into shelter for for people to live. Right, what are we coming back with? Crate of canned food? Lots and lots of canned food we're coming back with. 
that is fine. That is fine. We've got our resources up in the top of the screen here. Loads and loads of food, a little bit of ammo, two weapons, no fuel, uh, some construction resources, specifically wood, metal, bricks. Very, very important. And then some additional materials as well that we're going to need to we're going to need to pay attention to. Uh, yeah. What else have we got? We have got unscavenged buildings of unknown purpose. That's fine. We've got our objectives up here. Uh, we've got a little tech tree. Uh, we need to get some knowledge, some scientific materials in order to research some of these some of these bits and bobs. This has been updated, I believe, in the most recent update. All right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep, uh, keep searching. Do I want to create a new squad? Sure, I'll create a new squad because I'd love to go and expand and explore. Uh, we have plenty of... We have plenty of free people. Let's get them all assigned to go to chop down these trees. We've got four out of 40 people that are now free. So let's continue to try and... Continue to try and uh, squeeze in as much value to the day as we possibly can. It's only midday, which is what matters. Now, uh, what we want to do is we want to start creating a base. Now, I'm thinking that this entire sort of like campus area is like looking like a good sort of like base of operations. So I kind of like that. Ooh, we found a car that looks salvageable. Let's see if we can try and make it run again. Okay. Yeah, we'll make that happen. But let's continue. Let's continue to scavenge first. Um, because I would like to... I'd like to ideally adapt this building into a shelter. Uh, it's not going to be living quarters for six people. I mean, it's not going to be much. We're not going to be able to get much at all, actually. But that is going to be... That is going to be an opportunity. You know, we've got four people that are currently not doing anything. We can They're all builders, in fact. That's great. Uh, see if they can go and adapt all of these buildings into, into shelters. That would be phenomenal, to be honest. Right there, 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 there. And you keep on scavenging. Yes, please. That's brilliant. Oh, have we got a shelter over here as well? I didn't realize that we were turning that into a shelter, but that's fine. Uh, scavenging, scavenging, scavenging. Brilliant. Loads and loads of resources. Okay, we're not turning that one into a shelter. That must just be a, a, a visual bug, but that's fine. This is all looking pretty darn good. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We are getting our... We're getting our houses prepared which is really, really nice. We've got plenty of food. We've got a little bit of ammo. Pretty darn decent. And we've got loads and loads of wood as well, which is very, very comfortable. Yeah, I like that a lot. No sign of any additional weapons or anything like that. Probably want to start scavenging some of these bigger houses. But, I mean, we can do that after we get through all of these little ones here. Because these little ones, I think, are going to be the, the sort of the basis of my... Uh, of my operation. Alright, scavenge there, scavenge here, then head home for the day. 66% constructed over here. That's looking good. Right, the sun is getting low. We don't know what's going to happen at night. We can continue scavenging our operations uh, in the dark, but that's fine. Carry on. We need those resources. It's too dangerous for unarmed uh, civilians to work at night. The workers will return home. That's fine. That's fine. Absolutely no issues with that. Workers can get home, and then we will send everybody back. There we go. Get you over here. And what do we get? More food and some ammo. Brilliant. Okay. Send you home. And send you home. Beautiful. Okay, so everybody is going to be back at base when night falls, which is phenomenal. It means that we can most likely... Uh, repel a zombie attack if indeed no uh, we can repel a zombie attack if indeed it comes and it may very well come let us skip forward in time and see what the night brings us because I am curious horde spotted okay okay get ready Get ready to fight. We're not going to fight, like, unnecessarily. What are you doing? 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are these people coming from? Where the heck did those people come from? Are they like bonus people? Were they people that were chopping the trees? I don't think they were chopping the trees. They just seem to like run out of nowhere. Huh. Okay, that was very, very curious. Don't quite know what happened there. But that's okay. Horde spotted. Where's the hordes being spotted? Over, over here. This seems like a pretty densely populated area. Yeah, so we need to be super careful about that. Right, let's get you to go over there. Let's get you over here. And you over here. Okay, there might be some people in there. I recommend we go and investigate. Sure, I'm very, very happy to go and investigate. Let's get you to go and investigate. Let's go. Okay. We should build some defenses before nightfall. Indeed. And I want to make sure that we have a really, really decent setup. I'm hopeful that we're going to be able to finish all of this sort of construction uh, in the course of the day. Let's get barbed wire. What do we need? Oh, yeah. I need a wooden tower. Let's get a wooden tower over here. Wooden tower over there. And you know what? Let's get another wooden tower over here. That's pretty good. And then wooden fence. Oops. We found some survivors. They've been living in terrible conditions. Yes, bring them back. Bring them in. Very happy with that. Where the heck are they going? Oh, I see. They're going all the way around to try and get to the... Br oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Here's the here's the deal. Cancel that. We do not need people to be going all the way around to the other side of the river. Like That is obviously completely flipping ludicrous. So don't do that. Is there any metal anywhere? There's metal out here. Go and gather that metal. That's fine. Right. So we lost the scavenger by just being by the scavengers being stupid to be fair that is that is kind of to be expected uh 38 out of 39 houses let's get one additional house that'd be good excellent and then let's see if we can try and get some uh well, we'll get a wooden gate get a wooden gate over here nice we're out of resources are we out of wood no we're not out of wood You know, our worker can't reach the destination. Okay. Honestly, I feel like that's fine. If we're protected by the river on one side, that'll be okay, right? Yeah, I feel like this is totally fine. It's good. It's good. Okay, keep scavenging. Okay, scavenge through all these. And you continue scavenging. Brilliant. Okay, we need lots more wood for this gate. This is a big investment of time, effort, and energy. Uh, I also need to get a vehicle, don't I? Yeah. Chief, we want to build uh, anything else. Need more resources. Send some workers to chop down some trees. Yeah, I am... Uh, Kind of working on it, to be honest. And let's... Let's see. We, we actually have... Every single person has been assigned. Every single person has been assigned. In fact, we maybe have too few people building in general. There we go. Metal. Do I care that much about metal? I mean, metal is important, but is it that important? Yeah, you know what? I think it is. I think it is. I think it's worth us. I think it's worth us getting this, uh, getting this metal done. Pretty happy with this tower in this position. Pretty happy with tower in this position. Between them both, they pretty much cover everything. Yeah, let's actually reduce the number of workers that we have there. 
Can't increase the number of workers there anymore. That's fine. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's make sure that we're cutting... We're, let's make sure that we're cutting down as much wood as we reasonably can. Just because I think we're going to need it. Right, you've scavenged that. Let's see if you can go get the car. It's a little bit ambitious to do it at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. In fact, let's maybe try it tomorrow. They speak of various t kinds of infected animals that they've encountered. Interrogate them. Interrogate them now and get as much info as you can. Interrogate them. Right, go and pick up the food in here. And then head back, head back home. You can just head straight back home. And then these guys are coming home as well. Okay. It's going to be a big evening. It's going to be a big evening. I'd like to expand my operation a little bit tomorrow. But for now, I think we can be pretty happy with how things look. Everything is pretty reasonable. We've got no scavengers that are doing stupid stuff. Why are you going out here? We don't need you to do that. We've got no scavengers that are doing stupid stuff. You go over there. Oh, you can't actually go inside, can you? Yeah, you've got two assigned workers, but then... Hold on, if we disband... Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Let's, um, let's disband this squad, because if we disband this squad, or indeed if we... If we unequip the weapons, disband the squad... And then that means that the weapons should be allocated over here, I believe. Current ammo, 200 current ammo, but no weapons. There are some infected around here. How do we equip the... How do we equip the... Uh, how do we equip the pistols to the wooden tower? Well, I guess let's wait and see. Yeah, see, they're going to attack the... Uh, they're going to attack the tower there, aren't they? Engage. Engage. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. A little bit of micro. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. That's pretty darn sick. So there's clearly an issue with the weapons not being delivered to the wooden tower, but probably, if I had to guess, it's because, you know, we are... Get inside. Uh, probably because we're at night, you know? As opposed to... Yeah, it's fine. It's probably because we're at night and we can't get the weapons moved around uh, as much as we would normally like to, to see them get moved around. But honestly, that's fine. Right. So, tomorrow, what do we need to do? We need to cut a whole bunch of wood. We finally need to get this... We need to finally get this uh, vehicle captured. Let's go and get that done. Let's continue to scavenge. Ideally, the big buildings. Let's go and do that all. And then let's make sure that we have as many people as physically possible devoted to chopping down wood. So gather wood literally from across this entire area. And we'll have five people assigned at the moment. But after this wood is completely uh, expended, then we will we'll move our resources around, which is quite important. Okay. What's up? We found some seeds in one of the buildings. It looks like grain we could start cultivating. Yeah, I'd love to do that. We should have a place where we can cook meals for our citizens. Yeah, we should build some, uh, we should build some facilities. Aha! We also have managed to get ourselves a, uh, a car. Right. Okay, so there is this mysterious transmission that is, uh, that is happening. Uh, we need to send a squad to try and find technical books. And... I don't know where we're going to get the technical books. Where have we got technical books? Do we see on the map where uh, where it could possibly be? 
we should have like a rough indication. Teaching facility, scientific materials all the way out there. I mean, is that the closest one? Shockingly, it actually might be. Okay, let's send... Let's send you all the way over there then. I mean, it's going to be a bit of a journey, but it is a car, so it is going to go like unbelievably quickly. Like way more quickly than I was really anticipating. This is all looking good though. Uh, I think we should have, yep, looks like the pistols have been moved to the correct locations. Very, very good. Spotted some people, probably armed, they could have seen us, I can't tell if they're friendly. Approach them. Approach them friendly. Just, just drive up. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Get out of there. Okay. Forget about them. I clearly misjudged them as people. Uh, and we're going to escape. Okay. There, there is a horde in there. And there is an enemy group of scavengers. And they are fighting. Honestly, that is fine with me. There is a pistol over there, though, so that's um, that's definitely something that I'm interested with, or interested in, I should say. Okay, uh, construction. We still need way more wood, right? Yeah, we still need way more wood. Job done. Max that out. That's good. Okay. We're still looking good. Any other? Any other things that I need to worry about right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. There is unfortunately nothing that we can do. We just have to take out the horde here. There might be some damage. Attack. You have to attack those guys. Go and get the go and get the weapons. That is worth its weight in gold. Really, really valuable to have those. Really, really valuable to have those bits and bobs. Now let's go back in here and scavenge the scientific materials, and then we'll maybe check out the building next door just to be on the safe side but even if it is like later on in the day we can we can still survive okay another car over there that's fine it's all looking good this is fine ideally we'd like to finish up all of this construction before the end of the day but you never know we might not be able to it's 2 30 in the afternoon that's fine. Okay. What about converting this to a cookhouse? Is that possible? Yeah. I mean, it's actually very, very possible. Very, very possible indeed. Uh, I do not want to assign any workers to this right now. But I will start to get some fields over here. Let's do that. What do we need? We need some basic tools and we need some wood. Hopefully... All of the stuff that I've already committed wood to will be fine to just, you know, be finished. What's that? Potentially enemy horde over there as well, or enemy group. Whoa! -ho! Nice! Handy against large hordes. Let's not waste too much ammo and nothing. Nice. That's really good. Well done, buddy. Well done. Got lots of food, and you've not taken the assault rifle with you. Not necessarily certain that that's a great decision-making process there, but that's fine. All right. Still scavenging, still scavenging, still scavenging. Yeah, okay. I, I can. I think I can sort of deal with that area a little bit less personally. Right. All of my walls have been built. This is great news. Like, really, really good news. Let's go get that assault rifle. All the scavengers are going to come back. We've got four workers assigned to the gate. That's really, really good too. So there's a lot of firepower over here. Let's get the... Get the assault rifle, then go there. Then go back to the base. Yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to leave these guys camping out over here, I guess, for tonight. I don't think we have a choice. Are they going to steal my car? 
they steal my car, that is going to be problematic. Right, show me the horde. They better not be able to cross water. I don't think they are. If they are, then uh, there goes my defensive... There goes my defensive... Uh, my defensive strategy. There's no way they're going to cross water, right? It's just that same horde. They're like... They're... They're chilling. They're chilling at the other side of the river. Just out of ra just out of attack range. Okay. There's a new horde over here. Honestly, not the end of the world. They are going to get near my houses, but they should be attracted to the gunfire. And once they're in this sort of area, this is like the, the death zone. We might take a little bit of damage on some of the buildings. Honestly... Don't really anticipate too much. Also, is that my... It's my car done. Right. You guys need to go back in here. In fact, get into the car. In fact, maybe approach these guys. Maybe approach these guys. See if they're interested in a little cooperation. We might be lucky. Nice! Accept. Send them in. Okay. Get in the car. The car needs to head home. Uh, actually, tell you what, the car does not need to head home yet. Let's let's get the people out of the car, into the into there, and then out. And actually, you know what? Just just uh, just chill over there. Just chill over there. Let's uh, let's keep a, let's keep an eye on. Keep an eye on the main base. This is why I wanted to keep an eye on the main base, because there's a lot of stuff happening here. It's 2.30 a.m. It's okay. Our buildings can be under attack. Our structures, as long as our structures hold. We've got plenty of HP in our structures. We've got plenty of ammo in our structures. We're taking out a really, really good number of hordes here. We need additional pistols for the gate, but frankly, we can do that. Nice. It's looking good. It's looking good. Looking very, very good. Another flipping horde. That's okay. We can take him. It's 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. Oof. Okay. Bit of a bit of a nasty bit of a nasty evening, but that's fine. Okay. So this these guys should be coming in. Uh oh. It was literally shredded to pieces. Could just be some ordinary infected and there are teeth marks on it. Yeah, not exactly ideal. These guys should be coming with me, which is quite nice. Okay, you've decided to. No, get to the car. Get to the car. Yep. Get to here. Get in here. Get in the car. And we're officially ready to go back home. So, unfortunately, this group is going to have to walk across the, the landscape to, to get there. But I don't really care. Because I am going to be back to my base in, like, seconds. Like, mere seconds. Uh, there is also... Yeah, there are pistols over here. We should go and, we should go and fight this area out. Let's, let's do this. Let's get this group to go and commandeer another car. Maybe a little bit of a dangerous journey. But I think it'll be worth it. Let's do it. Okay, we've encountered people willing to join us, except send them in. I don't know where that was that we encountered them. Oh, just over here. Nice. That makes me very, very happy indeed. Right, we'll commandeer both of these cars. Uh, we'll refill with ammo. We will head back out shortly. Make sure that we're maxing out the number of workers here. Let's pause and maybe, just maybe, start chopping down some more wood. Okay. And I'm thinking that we would like to build an additional wall. Like, 
all the way down here? Sure. Let's do that. And then maybe either another gate or another tower, like, down to this bottom area. Right. Okay. Bring scientific materials to HQ. We can now do that, which is quite fantastic. We can start doing some research. We need a workspace where we can experiment and re-engineer all the pre-pandemic technology. Indeed. Okay, let's build a research center and assign the most technical minds there. Adapt a building into a research center. Sure. Let's do it. We should have a new option unlocked, if I'm not mistaken. Or, yep, there we go. It's right there. Uh, sure. Let's try here. Two wood, three... Three, uh, three metal. We should have the ability to do all of that. Right. Let's dispatch. Let's dispatch the car out here. And then once this car has been commandeered. Recovery in progress. Brilliance. We're going to dispatch you to here as well. Let's go and collect the, let's go and collect the goods. Wow. I honestly thought, I honestly thought that the zombie horde would still be in there. Uh... Sure. Let's get the let's get the cars to take uh, to take either end of the take either end of the, the the sort of houses here. Yeah, no issues with that at all. That's looking really really good. All right, continue chopping down the wood. Continue chopping down the wood over here. That's looking great. Fields are looking fine. Current production is looking looking good there too. We need lots and lots of wood. Do we have enough to make it all work? I think we probably do. I think we probably do. I think we can make everything work. Uh, we just need more people. We just need more people. That is really what we need. Okay, let's stick it into like four times speed. Because frankly, there is nothing too pressing. That can't wait. What did that car pick up? We got three pistols in the car, four cans of food. It's a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff just waiting to be looted. Uh, we haven't even sort of talked about specific looting yet. Supermarket. Oh, there's teaching facilities over here. That's way closer. I didn't even spot that. Uh, not like it particularly matters. There's fuel over there. That's brilliant. What are we running out of? We don't have fuel, obviously. Food we're fine for. We're pretty fine for, we're pretty fine for most things. Uh, tools, maybe we need a few more tools, but... Honestly, we're, we're fine. Okay, yeah, we're going to be able to get both of those things. We're going to be able to head home. Uh, we've got the cookhouse, which is looking good. Uh, that is wheat plus wood gives us four food, or meat plus wood gives us five food. That's a really, really nice combo. Okay, let's finish. What the heck is that? Oh, that's a, an, a, a uniformed services facility. That's really, really nice. Okay, this is like... Two full loads, two full cars worth of uh, of food and resources. That is really, really good. Very, very happy with that. There's loads and loads of space in the headquarters at the moment. Loads and loads of space for resources. Horde spotted somewhere. Doesn't particularly matter at the moment. Yeah, so there's a few, like, a few shops down here that we're going to be able to get weapons from. And there's also a shop down here that we're going to be able to get weapons from, which I'm really going to try and... really going to try and do. Just chill. Just chill. Just go inside. Just go inside. Just relax. Honestly, relax. Relax until the evening is over. I mean, we are going to be able to eliminate pretty much anybody that comes at me. With a varying degree of confidence, I think we should be okay. Infected dogs are going to be no issues whatsoever. We'll engage them. We will engage. I feel... Maybe famous last words, but I feel very, very confident. I feel like this was a really, really nice place to get a... To get a base set up. And we know that we now have proximity to weapons, which is really, really good. I mean, every single pistol has got... Uh, has got... Uh, has got ammo attached to it, but we've got plenty of ammo here. 
Okay. Let's get you into the car. And then let's dispatch the car down here. You into this car over here. And let's get you over to here. It's a bit of a trek, to be fair. It's a bit of a long trek, actually, now that I think about it. But that's okay. We can make it work. There we go. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in and scavenge it. We get any resources? We got some ammo. Eh? It's okay. Increase the number of workers that we have working on that one. Increase the number of workers that we have working on all these. Yeah. Okay, uh, what do we want to do with this car? I mean, there's a few other th things to do. Go and check out the supermarket, maybe? Or the shop or restaurant? Sure, why not? Okay. Our worker has no way. What's the issue? Oh, we should be fine. We should be fine to get all of this done. Let's uh, let's actually get an additional an additional gate down here. Wooden gates. I think there is perfect. Wonderful. And then let's get wooden fence. We're under right down to the wall. We're under attack. We're under attack, but we're gonna just drive past. Kinda. Honestly, makes sense, given that you decided not to drive on the road. I mean, I guess it's the most direct way, but it really does not feel like the fastest way. And some more sort of teaching facilities over there that we can take advantage of in due course as well. Uh, 30 wood. Yeah, we do not have 30 wood. There we go. Max that out. If we can, which we can't. Apparently, every single worker is currently busy. Uh, we need to go and check out this neutral group. I should probably dispatch this team. Get into the supermarket. This does not look like much of a supermarket. I think this is a bug, but that's okay. Scavenge the supermarket and then head back and check out these uh, neutral facilities, or these neutral guys. Right. You're now thundering down the road, which is good. Very, very sensible decision to finally start driving on the road. Horde spotted. It's okay. It's on the other side. It's on the other side of the river to me. So I don't really mind. That's still looking fine. Right, yeah. Let's see if we can try and get as many weapons from this area as we possibly can. Right. Good. We got ammo. Ammo is not really what I was looking for. I was kind of hoping for a few pistols. It's nice. A little bit of extra ammo. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Literally nothing but ammo. I, I, you can't really complain, can you? But like... Yeah, very peculiar, like, decision on the route to drive. Can't do that. I guess we can't go, like, right outside the map, can we? What about just, like... We're on the move. Right. You really don't want to... You don't want to drive... You don't want to drive the way that I tell you to drive. But that's fine. You know what? You You do you. Right, you are not scavenging anymore. I'm going to just get you out of there. And I'm just going to tell you to come home. Come home and explore this, this group. Oh, excellent. Is it that group? I will accept. I will accept anybody willing to join me. It's more, it's more people to help. Yeah, let's go and check out these guys. And we're going to have to fight these guys if they, uh, if they don't want to join me. Let's just hope that they do want to join me. We're on the move. 
They want to join. Beautiful. Send them in. Send them in. Welcome in, guys. Okay. Let's get you home. I think we might be in with a chance of getting this all done by uh, by the evening. We have very little wood. Very, very, very little wood. But uh, but most of it is going to get done, which is quite nice. That's okay. Start working, start winding down. How have we still not built this research center yet? I'm not quite sure. There we go. Okay. That is everything that we could possibly need to be uh, safe and secure over the course of evening number... What is this? Three? Mood is dissatisfied. Citizens live in too poor conditions. Um, they can't cross the river anyway. <gasps> they can cross the river. Uh, okay, they can cross the river. That is absolutely horrific. Oh my god, they have broken through. Uh, yeah, this is, this is an unmitigated disaster. It's not an unmitigated disaster. We've actually managed to repel them quite satisfactorily, if I do indeed say so myself. Um, however, that is absolutely terrifying, just as like a general sort of rule. That's not, that's not nice. I can't cross the river, so they shouldn't be allowed to cross the river. Okay. Chop down, chop down these trees here. Get as many workers, as many workers chopping down trees as we possibly can. Right. I think I might disband this squad, actually. Yeah, disband that squad because I would like more workers to go and help build the stuff. We, decon we deconstruct some buildings, we could acquire some wood, uh, we'd make more space for other constructions or just a clear line of fire. Yeah, I can deconstruct a building. Let's deconstruct this building right here. Sure. Deconstruct that building, and let's readapt this building to be a shelter. Yeah, nice. Same with... Turn this into a shelter. We're running out of resources. I know we're running out of resources. Turn that one into a shelter. Okay. That's a lot of, that's a lot of wood to be, to be chopping. Not only that, but we need to make sure that we relink that section. Let's make sure that we're maxing out our number of workers that are chopping wood at all times, please. I think... I think we should have... I think we should have enough... I think we should have enough workers to do everything that we need. Right. Winter is coming. The days will be shorter and the farms won't produce any food. We should brace ourselves. I actually think we're fine for food. We've got loads of food and we've got the opportunity to, like, scavenge a lot more. So, I think... I think that should be okay. I think that should be fine. What do we need? We need nine more wood. We need two more wood. We need two more wood. Yeah. I'm unfortunately a little bit skeptical. Um, I also have the ability to do research now. I should have, uh, I should have thought about that first. Right. Basic antenna. Research unavailable. Research unavailable. Yeah, I think there's only... I think there's only a few bits of research that I can do right now. We'll start research of that in anticipation that we'll be able to do it tomorrow. How much ammo do I have? 30 ammo? 30 ammo seems okay. Six pistols as well, although bear in mind that one of those is a... Uh, one of those is a pistol that are... or a few of those, four of those are pistols that I... Uh, that I got from the group. Okay, this is just like... This is completely... Ruined my calculations. This is absolutely awful. We're going to give these guys assault rifles tomorrow. 100%. And we're going to set that to be repaired as well. Okay, I'm going to set this building to be deconstructed because I would like to get all of the juicy, juicy resources from it. Max that out as much as we possibly can. And let's hope that we can just tear this thing to shreds and get all the resources out of it. The people have reported hearing a lot of noises coming underground. Oh my god. Yes. Let's prepare. Mood is dissatisfied, but frankly, like... What can I do? What can I do? Right. 
we need more. I know we need more resources. Allocate more people to deconstructing the uh, the current the current building here, because that will get us more resources. Will it get us enough resources? I don't know. Yeah, let's get you assault rifles. You're fine. You're fine for now. This is the last of our constructions that we needed to get done. So that's good. Barbed wire, do we have enough? I tell you what, we've got some barbed wire. Let's get some... Let's get some barbed wire down here. Sure. Let's do it. We're out of resources. We're out of resources, but we're not out of, we're not out of luck just yet. We're out of assault rifles, which is a little bit of a shame. But it is winter, uh, and that is uniquely terrifying. That being said, my gates are holding strong, and I feel like I have a really, really tight perimeter here. Are we almost done with the deconstruction of the building? I'm like 65%. Yeah, they're going to be coming through that center hole in the middle there, but... I, uh, yeah, probably should have placed the fields slightly differently, but I didn't. Because I didn't really anticipate that they would be able to cross water. That is, uh, yeah. Hugely problematic doesn't really begin to describe, uh, how big of a deal that is. Yeah, I'm hopeful that we can maybe try and get a few more people living in good conditions kind of soon. We're ready to build an antenna. Nice. Distant transmissions will be able to hear broadcasts. Very, very cool. I'd love to be able to build an antenna. Okay, 20 metal. Let's do it. Assign the maximum number of workers that we possibly can. Uh, and we are out of food. Oh my giddy ant. That is like... That is like bad? Right. Temper the number of people that we have working there. Max the number of people that we have working at the antenna. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, go and get that. And then come back. It's evening time. But that's okay. Oh, I can't believe, I can't believe that the hordes can cross rivers. Honestly, that is an absolute nightmare. That is an absolute unmitigated disaster. I know there's infected around here. I know there's infected around here. This is a good defense, though. This is a good defense. Okay, they destroyed a bit of wall. A very, very small bit of wall, mind you. But a bit of wall nonetheless. Okay. Yeah. I think my biggest problem is food. My biggest problem is definitely going to be food. Um, the antenna is looking... The antenna is looking good. Don't get me wrong. I'm really, really happy with how that's, how that's looking. Uh, let's see if we can try and... See if we can try and do some more scouting. Yeah. And should probably create a brand new squad. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get on the ground. Drop your weapons. Hands where I can see them. What's going on? Uh oh. Very, very nice. What do you want? I don't know. What can you offer for your people's lives? Who are you? You bastard. Come on. Let's be nice to each other. You don't want me getting angry. Release them. Release them now. <laughs> or else what? 
We'll retaliate. Now, now. Let's be reasonable. Consider what I'm about to say. You ready? Okay. Say it. I don't think so. Come on, be smart about this. I'm not kidding around. Refuse. No. I don't like doing this, but no. We're not going to be blackmailed. Fine. But remember, this is on you. Execute them. Go. Go, 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 go. Get in there. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Get back, get back, get back, get back. It's a guy with an assault rifle. Get, close the flipping gates. The gates are just outside of range. Oh my god, this is... Can we get in the car and run him over? Go. Run them over. We have one assault rifle in this group. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Did we get the antenna built? Okay, well, that's our pistols back by the looks of it. Uh, and that was a that was a huge loss actually. I think we lost a lot of just like regular, regular peeps. But then we also lost obviously like our entire squad. Yeah, that sucked. That sucked pretty darn hard. I will say though, like we've got a really nice base. We got a really nice base here. This antenna is almost built. Yeah. No, get back, get back, get back. Yeah, so, um, we don't have a key piece of wall. We don't have a key piece of wall, and, uh, this wooden tower is using bow and arrows. But apart from that, like, we're gonna be fine, I think. Yeah, we're almost done with the deconstruction there. We're in day nine, and we're gonna get this antenna done tomorrow. I mean, come hell or high water, for sure. Yeah, we lost a lot of we lost a lot of guys in that in that attack. But to be fair, we don't have any food, so I mean, it was either like lose all of our non-existent food, probably, or you know lose lose four mouths that we now no longer need to feed. That sounds kind of awful to say, but. I think that might actually have been the, you know, the smarter suggestion. Let's disband both squads. Then we'll create a new squad. That's three assault rifles and a pistol. This is a very, very powerful squad here. Antenna is built. Antenna is now operational. Let's broadcast an invitation or as a test or just call the squads back to the... Okay. Your frequencies are quite secure. I've been listening to you for a while. I'm taking notes. Very detailed. Stop doing that. Immediately. Okay. Push to talk. Invite. We'll provide food and shelter.
Get on board, everybody. Invite. Come on board. How many? Several people. Five to be precise. Address. Come to us. Okay, see you soon. Excellent. There you go. The people, the people are joining us. Uh, yeah, we've got a pretty, that's a pretty secure, it's a pretty secure area, I feel, all things considered. It's not bad, it doesn't feel bad, looks pretty darn good. I feel like it's a pretty good place for us to wrap things up. Uh, food-wise, we, we could be doing better, undoubtedly. Uh, but defense-wise, I feel like we're doing not too, I feel like we're doing not too bad. Either way, ladies and gents. This is fantastic. I've flipped and love infection-free zone. Uh, what a great opportunity to check back in on it. Uh, it's it's getting closer and closer and closer to release. Uh, we're dying of hunger. Let's just pause so that we don't have to uh, pretend that that's happening. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I, I I can't wait. I can't wait to see this game. It's it's just getting better and better every single time I play it. There's just so much good stuff to explore. Uh, and the fact that you can play it in the real world is just, is something special. It's really, really cool. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. Check out the Patreon if indeed you're interested in helping make videos as little as possible. But for now, and for me, I have an open potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.